All right, so in this video, we're going to talk about how to import items into Zotero um, from the web, from databases, if you're, where you're doing your research, or from websites that you might find helpful for your research. So, first thing we're going to have to do is actually have Zotero open. It has to be running in the background. Um, the second thing about uh, Zotero is you'll have to actually be clicked on a particular folder that you want to import your information into. Uh, so that's very important because you don't want to import the information to the wrong folder or a folder that has nothing to do with what you're researching at the time. And so I'm, I'm clicked on my demonstration folder and then I jump out to go search to uh, do a search for Abrahamic Covenant. Uh, just to let you know at Southeastern, go search is... Uh, is an EBSCO product, so it looks a lot like Atla and Academic Search Premier, many of our article databases, but this is one search to rule them all. And it has our catalog built in, as you can see from this first uh, record. Um, EBSCO works really great with Zotero, so does WorldCat, JSTOR, um, Dissertation Abstracts, many of our databases work well. Alcott Catalog, if you want to search our catalog and, and import stuff into Zotero, I recommend just simply clicking on the um, you have to click on more and then say catalog only right here. Um, that was more right here and then click catalog only because Alcott is just, it's it's got so many extra little characters like slashes and dashes that when you import in, you're going to have to clean up a lot, especially related to titles, publishers, things like that. And it's just too time consuming. You're going to have to clean up anything that comes into Zotero just to make sure it's in the proper format that you need it for whatever you're using. But for the most part, a lot of the stuff imports in with no cleanup whatsoever. So uh, let's go ahead and talk about how to import things in. So uh, the basic way that I recommend using it is to import in multiple things at one time. And so out of this list, let's say I wanted the first two items here. I come up here to the top right hand corner and I want to click on this folder. If you're using uh, Firefox or Safari, you may find it over here on the left hand side. Uh, icons that look similar to this or you may find I know I can't remember which one I think it's Safari a Z for Zotero instead of this so um, there's uh, there's that as well if you don't see these here then that website is probably not uh, you're probably not gonna be able to import anything in or you need to restart your browser or uh, check to make sure that you've uh, downloaded the plugin uh, you can see the other videos here on this uh, libguide for that so I'm gonna click on this you can see two things. You can see this list of uh, works here. Um, and you see down here a little dialog box pops up there saying saving to demonstration. So that's another way you can check to make sure that you're saving it to the appropriate folder that you want. I could click select all and import in all um, everything from this page. Note this page, not all 10,000 items that are in the list. Um, but let's say I was like, oh, wait, I don't want to do that. Let's deselect all. Oh, it does nothing. So that's one of the bugs in this program. So you have to come back out, click you know the folder again and then I'm just going to select these first two click OK and you can see it's thinking and it's uh, now that it's disappeared it is um, imported that information into Zotero then click on the Abrahamic Covenant uh, which is a single item when it's a single item you can uh, click on um, just a single page and it will just import that single item in and like I said this works in a lot of databases it works on Amazon um, as well so it's it's Zotero is really great about that well, let's see if I'm in a website that I'm interested in like a blog let's say I wanted to reference this blog um, here you see a di slightly different icon kind of a blue page type thing and click on that and you can see it's working now and importing that in as well so this is between the times which is the southeastern blog then I go back to Zotero I find the three items that I've downloaded there uh, there's some common cleanup things you'll have to do automatically and so the first one is you will want to make sure that you transform the title case for both the title and the uh, short title um, some of them will come in properly but this one didn't uh, you'll see like with a journal article I'll need to double check the publication and also the date the date's not in the format that I use for my citation style which is uh, SBL for PhD so I changed that to 2014, uh, 2014, and then uh, journal abbreviation, I need to do that for SBL, and so I just changed that to the journal abbreviation. Um, same thing with books, come in here, uh, that needs to be title case. 
And then you may notice some problems sometimes, just the import does the information isn't in the right uh, field. And so you'll see I'll need to come back in and actually add a publisher and a place for this item. I've got the year. So, um, you know, you do have to do some cleanup with this, but overall, once you've done that, it's set. You, uh, you'll be able to import in and it will work fine across all your folders because it's in your library. Whatever you edit here will be in your library. So uh, that's it for this video.